Hello, today you are watching the repair video, or rather upgrade video, for Dell XPS 18-inch portable tablet all-in-one computer. Um, so, the objective of for today is to transport and put in uh, this 256 gigabytes of solid state hard drive and see if we can put it into this uh, all in one tablet from Dell. Again, this is the Dell XPS 18. Uh, I believe it's 18.7 inch monitor tablet. So, this is the biggest tablet available right now. And one, tr one problem with it is uh, it sometimes comes with the basic model. The basic model comes with basically a regular spinning hard drive, right? And but it it's being advertised as a tablet. So in order to be a true tablet and portable without actually damaging the spinning hard drive all the time when you use it, you need to put a solid state hard drive in there. But Dell has a very expensive option for the solid state hard drive upgrade, which um, it could be a problem if you didn't buy it with the solid state hard drive or the price is not ideal for you because they'll charge such a premium for it. And the purpose of this video is to teach you and show you how you can easily replace it with a solid state hard drive from a third party, in this case Toshiba. Okay, so you can see all these screws. What you want to do with this device, something like this, is you want to check all compartments for any hidden screws before you start the repair. As far as I can tell, there's only uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so there's, there's 10 screws and they are all shaped by um, hexagons, star shaped hexagons. So, oh yeah, so I have a kit here, I bought this on Amazon. Um, you just need to find the correct screw and let's take these 10 screws up first. What I would suggest you to do is to get one of the CyberDoc uh, magnetic mat. It's like a project mat that's magnetic and you can put it on it. That way you don't lose the screws. We'll just find a little tray box I will work to. Yeah. The important thing is you don't lose your screws. You're gonna have to put them back later. Also, when you're screwing, unscrewing these screws, be, make sure you have the right tool and you're matching the groove evenly before you start to torque your screwdriver. That's why you won't de permanently damage the screws that you're working on. Okay. This is the, my first time opening XPS. Probably the last time I'm not expecting to do this again. So I have no idea what's underneath it. So I must I don't think anyone done this yet. So that's not really a good way to find out what's underneath it's no one on the internet has opened the Dell XPS 18 as far. So Alright, so I removed all the 10 screws. I'm trying to pry, see if this case just pops up on its own without any resistance. So far I don't really have any luck. I think it's something to do with this. Piece of rubber. Probably need a credit card. Okay, then another tool. Credit card I can sacrifice. Have a little bit of card here. Let's see if this will do the trick. Okay, so one thing I noticed that um, this thing pops open on its own. 
So what happened is you, in order to take this back cover up, you need to put these two on its uh, vertical ro rotation orientation. This way, um, see those two little latches? These two has to be open, otherwise it won't come off. So once you do that, you open from bottom up. And then just slightly be careful because there might be wires tangling in there. Let me just check. Alright, so it looks like it looks okay. I don't think there's any wire attached to the back piece cover. And since I'm getting into the interior of this that, uh, 0.1 tablet, I want to wear some kind of gloves. You always want to make sure whatever device you're working on, it's it's um the battery is off, and you're wearing some kind of I like I prefer nitride glove. If you're allergic to nitride, you can always always wear latex. So I'm not allergic to either one. Alright, so you also want to ground yourself. There's three ways to three ways that I know you can do this. One, you can attach yourself to a some kind of metal wire that goes to a ground unit. Um, Second way to do this is to touch your grounding unit. For in this case, your computer will do it if your computer is made of solid metal. Since your um, computer is uh, the power supply is grounded, and the third way would be like I just did, uh, wearing gloves. But you still want to touch a metal piece to ground yourself. Go with gloves. The only reason this thing is still on, let me try to manually shut it off. Don't do it. The power comes in here, and just keep holding it. I'm holding it, so that should do it. it shuts it off. Okay, now I want to take the top cover up. There's nothing. Like you can see in the video, once you remove the 10 screws and leave these two foot up, upward, there's nothing stopping this back cover from being removed. And once you removed it, uh, let's see what's inside here. So the date here is says 2013, 09, and 18. So this Laptop was assembled and manufactured in uh, September 2013. It's kind of funny, this is like a mush over here. I guess they stamped it wrong and then they stamped a new day on. Okay, so. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Okay, so this is just the door for, um, for the SD card. So the little door, you don't want to break this, and you want to be careful because the spring looks pretty fragile. Other than that, there's not much to it. This is, uh, that's it. That's inside the cover. Looks a little bit like the, the um, owing one unibody MacBooks. Okay, since everything is made in Foxconn, I'm assume, um, it pretty much looks like a Mac, uh, early model of Mac. Foxconn design. I recognize the FPC connector here. Um, there's four of them. These connects to, I'm um, guessing, the touch screen, the digitizer. And there's a lot of parts in here. There's two ginormous battery. They, wait, is it one or two? I think. Let's see, is this one battery? I don't think this is actually. I'm not sure. Maybe there's two, or maybe there's one battery in here. Um, this one says Dell 69 watt hour. Let's see, where does the battery connect to? Okay, it looks like there's two of them. It's pretty big. So the entire thing basically is half weighted by battery. That's impressive. And the hard drive is here, which is where we're going to get to. Um, I sometimes really don't understand why they would do this. Um, I guess cutting costs. Everything in here looks fantastic. Everything is pretty and, you know, compact. 
as light as they can be at the price, but somehow they decided to put in a spinning, traditional spinning hard drive uh, instead of solid state hard drive. Which make which is pretty silly because solid state hard drive is really light and it doesn't have the problem of breaking. Can you imagine breaking something like this on your own and then you can fix it? Especially when you're moving um, moving a laptop all the time because this is advertised as a tablet. They really shouldn't be advertising this as a tablet if they have a spinning hard drive here. Okay, so from the looks of it, I'm removing this tape. This is a piece of plastic. Um, you can pretty much just you can tip it back or however you want to do it. I think I'm just going to leave it alone for now like this. Um, you want to be careful because you can damage this ribbon, especially this FPC connector. Once you damage those, um, they will make... So I don't know what they do. They'll pretty much make whatever that this the digitizer uses, I'm guessing. This is digitizer. And also it's interesting that there's a fan here for this unit. Um, this fan goes right on top of the CPU. Okay, so the CPU is right here. I mean I right, and then remove this screw. So you can, I can show you what's underneath. I see the CPU down there. I'm also curious to find out. I'm guessing the CPU is dedicated. Um, it's part of the board. Yeah, it is. It's uh, soldered onto the board. So this is the CPU here. And there's a heat sink the copper heat sink that goes to this fan and this fan is uh, its purpose to cooling off the CPU. I guess this is necessary and um, it's okay to have a spinning fan inside a tablet that I don't mind too much. What I mind is really the hard drive. And what's interesting on the board is that as I can see some of the uh, coils and capacitors they come from the same manufacturer that make iPad uh, components which will make sense. Again, these things are assembled in the same factory as uh, iPad and Foxconn. But uh, what I found interesting is how the design, the engineers use similar parts. I guess this is really not differently than buying a PC or a Mac. Huh? Um, one thing I found, oh, well now I just found it interesting, is these, these gears. It's actually pretty complicated gears and spring for this little foot to be more functional. So that's good. Um, okay, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some pictures. Let's see if I have enough battery on my camera to do this. Okay, very good. I think I may make a school map for this uh, particular model because it looks pretty complicated with a lot of schools. I don't want to remove this piece of plastic though because it's kind of in the way, so I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to remove these FPC connectors. Um, you want to be careful. To find out if they back slip, uh, flip or phone flip, these look like phone flip, so I can remove them from the phone as such. Just flip them. Now you can see, just flip them this way. Be very, very careful because once you break them, there's really no good way to fix it. You just have to replace. Um, this way to fix it is just very painful. I don't want to do it. Uh, this thing is being blocked. 
Okay, so this piece comes right off, this piece of plastic. And I'll just find my screwdriver. Try not breaking my camera. And then there's a screw here. You want to release this, this screw. And then you can access this piece. Of, like, this is, uh, it has a metal component in it, so it's not just a piece of plastic to block your view. But aside from that, there's a, there's a new main foil in there. So I guess it's there to block your view from um, x raying the device on the outside if I was inside. I guess that's what it is. All right, so here I see an extra slot for the for your, uh, this is for the RAM, this is the memory card slot. So this is where you can upgrade your um, XPS 18 Dell, um, I guess 18.7 inch tablet. This is where you can upgrade your memory. So if you do up, want to upgrade your memory, this is where you do it. You just slide in the card and push it down. Um, I don't have a DDR3 memory on hand, so I can really show you how to do this, but it's pretty straightforward. You find a slot right here, you just slide it in and push it down. I would imagine this entire board only one-sided. I don't see anything on the other side. I can tell it's too, not enough space to do it. And nowadays, pretty much everything is single-sided uh, as MD board. So this is it. This is your entire computer. Um, you have the CPU here. This is i3, Intel i3 processor. And this, I'm guessing, is the graphic card. Graphic chip. I think it's Intel, um, it's building Intel. It's either the Southern Bridge or the graphic card, I'm not sure actually. But, okay, and, and this is your, this is your um, Wi-Fi, I guess Wi-Fi chip, Wi-Fi connector chip. There's a, another chip here, W I and that's Wi-Fi. And, and zoom in, so you can see. Alright, so this is a Wi-Fi chip, Wi-Fi, whatever you want to call it, chip. And this slot, you can put in another SD card, or, uh, sorry, sorry, stay hard drive, like a small one. Or you can put in other cards, like 3Gs or any other um, attachment, specifically uh, expansion slot for upgrades. And more functions. And this is the hard drive, which is pretty easy to take it off. From what I can tell so far, you just take, need to take out these four screws, one, two, three, four, and just pull it that way, it comes right off. And then all you have to do is just transfer the uh, size the hard drive onto the bracket, the hard drive can caddy, and then put it um, This is actually pretty interesting. Uh, I found the USB slot here. I was wonder how on earth they fell. So what they did was like, they bought the the Dell, well, Dell comes with, when you buy this XPS 18 model, it comes with a Logitech, see? Logitech with an like engraving of Dell, mouse, and a keyboard. They work great. These are wireless mouse, and they have a two AAA battery and, well, AAA battery and two AA battery in these. I was wondering what the, the USB connector goes, because I don't know if they Bluetooth or wife or the infrared, um, radio frequency wireless mouse, so like regular wireless mouse from Logitech, right? And I don't know if they have the Bluetooth version. These, now I'm confirmed, they are not Bluetooth. They are regular um, wireless mouse. What's interesting is that you see this little spot, spot right over there, let me zoom in for you. You see that? This, let me take it out. This is a little USB slot. And what's inside the plug-in right now, it's a Logitech. Uh, I can't really get this off. All right, in order to get this off, I will have to take it. You know, take the ball out, which is not difficult. You just need to take these two screws. Let me do that now. Actually, yeah, two two of screws. But I'm gonna let the screw loose because I don't want to keep messing with it. And I'm gonna take this enough to take that Dell Logitech um, mouse receiver off. Because I found it so interesting that they put it inside here, hiding it. So, here, yeah, there we go. Okay, there you go. You see, this is the unifying uh, receiver from Logitech. And that was belonging here, which is inside the XPS 
tablet. So if you, you don't, never open it, you lose the keyboard and the mouse, you're pretty much screwed. Unless, I'm pretty sure Logitech has some kind of program that you can buy another Logitech keyboard as long as you have this inside the board and um, you can sync to the computer. I'm not sure how that detail works, but th there you go. If this breaks, somehow your wireless keyboard and the mouse doesn't work because there's a little piece of uh, receiver break. It says Dell on it, but it's, it's made of Logitech. Um, then this is where you fix that. You, you find every place. So, um, so far I'm pretty impressed by the design of this tablet. It doesn't look like it's ready. It's um, somebody just put it together and they kind of rushed it. Um, it doesn't, it, it's not like a, it doesn't, how do I say this? The Compo the surface mount component in the circuit board certainly looks like an Apple design. It looks almost like an iPad um, coming out from the same factory and all. But the design is pretty PC. By what, what I mean by that is that it looks um, rushed. It's not. It, it looks like somebody came out with a great idea making a giant tablet, which I love the idea by the way. But they didn't have a lot of time to work on it, so what they did was like they come, they come out a bunch of different parts that they already have and just put them together. So this is, looks more like a prototype than a finishing product, in my opinion, which is good because this is a good product. And in the future, in the near future, if this sells well, hopefully it does. Dell and other PC manufacturer would um, OEM distributor, not not really manufacturing it. Uh, they will come out with better, more integrated design um, model preceding um, after these prototype being um, tested. Okay, so that's pretty much it. There's not much to look at. Um, okay, one cool thing. The LED, in this case, this is made in China sticker here. The LED has a gold pin connector. I don't know how many pins that there is, but this is the exact same connector on your MacBook Pro. Yeah, this is the exact same compact competitor. It's made by the company M the Max um I think it's made by Maxell. Molox, sorry. Mo Molox is the manufacturer of these connectors. But this is the exact same thing in your uh MacBook Pro and your MacBook Air. I guess and also the LED connectors. So yeah. So this is the motherboard, that's the board for the LED connector, and this is the connector from the board to the logic board, this is your CPU, this is your extra RAM slot, this is your possibly southern bridge or possibly graphic chip, I think it's a graphic card. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a graphic chip. And I don't know what's underneath this fan, um, I think it's the screen, you can see a little bit of barcode under here, this is for the LED screen. There's two huge batteries. And there's a little, little port, USB port here that's connecting to the speaker, the right speaker of the tablet and the left speaker of the tablet is two separate. Um, right speaker is of the tablet is on this little USB port that comes with the USB slot for the keyboard and the mouse, which are wireless. They're using radio frequency, not, not Bluetooth. I don't know if this thing actually has Bluetooth. On the box it says it has Bluetooth capability. Unless it's in this chip, I'm guessing the Bluetooth module will go on here. I'm not sure. 